Hello, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Join me at this hour. What I've got with you. What I've got with you on. On PA, PNA, Newsline Media Broadcast in Atlanta. So, the topic is right there. What will be the future of Ruin and Padang community in South Sudan? So, join me so we will discuss it. Join me and share the link, please. I want to play this uh, this uh, song from here on on YouTube. The song from uh, Queen Queen Manjongit. That is the name of the musician. So you enjoy it, listen to it. Come on, come on, join me. Hello, gentlemen, yes, welcome. Listen to this song, I love it. What I'm going with that, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Jen, how are you?
Thank you. That was a, a very lovely song to, to listen to. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to back on live show here uh, at this hour. Now we take 28 Eastern time. I want you to, to have this short uh, live video. It's not going to be that long. Uh, I, the question is, what will be the future of Ruwen and Fadan community in, in South Sudan? You see the light, the life in this community, these two communities now in South Sudan. We are all aware of it. What, what is needed for, for, for the citizen in Ruwen and the citizen in Fadan in general in South Sudan. The area now had seemed to be abandoned by 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 people who rule the country. The area is where the resource that supply the country, oil is in, in the area. The more percentage of oil, either 85% of oil or 95% of oil or 100% of oil, both both can can be said as being produced in in the in these two areas I'm, I'm I'm talking about in Ruwen, eighty five percent of the oil in Tom's in Tom's South and then uh, uh Pantho and also Unity Oil and also in Paloj eighty five percent of the of the oil come from these two areas and these are the area where the Fadang population in South Sudan and when you see the the, the, the way of of resource distribution it doesn't make it doesn't make any any sense to to me or to any citizen of of, of Ruwen and and Padang. for example if we talk about uh, building uh, a local government capacities, there's nothing there. If we're talking about building the road in, 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 in the local area, it's not there. If we're talking about clinics in those local areas, it's not there. If we're talking about the school for the local population, it's not there. If we're talking about the scholarship for the student who did well in, in different school, from this two area, it's not there. What we have there is the title that the, the resources are being produced in the area. Every time you see the minister talking about uh, pathology, pathology the, uh, produce, the producing oil area, uh, ruin is the producing oil area. That's what you, you heard from those leaders. You heard that from President Kiel. Last time President Kiel said the oil that the, the, the Nuer from Bantu are complaining about, 85% is in ruin. Kiel Mayadid has told them. We know the, the oil in Tarjats. That is the oil that Unity State should claim, but they're not more like the one in, 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 in Pariang. It's not more like the one in Faloj. So all this oil, the country is, is getting supply through through the oil. The end use from the oil company working. This is this is all produced in those two areas. If the government is not is not concerned about the need of the citizen, who who else could talk about it? The leaders who are representing that 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 communities, the MPs who are representing that constituencies, the commissioners who are in representing the citizen, and the governor. These are the people who can speak for the boys of of those who, who are being left behind by by the government. You, you have seen South Sudan is 10 years old in, after independence. 
that that the time frame we can talk. We cannot talk about the time before before 2011. Because by that time we were still at war, and the oil was still in in the hand of, of Sudan. It was not in the hand of South Sudanese like today. So the blame by that time, nobody could really talk about it. But now, we should blame the government of South Sudan because they are the one running the country. They are the one who running the oil companies. The oil company for, they are they are being hired by the government of South Sudan, and they 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 producing the oil and the 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 money are being taken out. Right now, the government of South Sudan make a a. a, a a Jiba road from from Bor, and then they say it will go to to Rang. And do you know when it's gonna arrive to to Rang? Maybe in two to three years from now is the time it will re reach Rang. And then again, after the after they finish there, they will come go this way, this way. They go to the left, all the way to Bargadal. And a ruin it will be still abandoned. Because no no one is speaking on their behalf, and the government has no interest. Because government always have interest in the area where there's some politician who can raise concern, where there's a politician who, who could blame the president, where there is a politician who, who could blame the minister of, of of petroleum. But a community with no leaders, nobody could say anything about them. They always be the last. They, they, they should be always the last people to get anything from the government. Is it not a shame to, to, the, to the people who call themselves the leaders of the Republic of South Sudan? You don't do a single project in the area, no single project in the area in all these years, and the oil is coming there. I mentioned to you, now in Ruwing, if I give you an example, the citizen in Ruwing now, they go back to, 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 to Sudan to look for treatment. And it's not that, it's not that, it's not that uh, close to them. It takes days. Like if you, 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 you travel from Parian, it takes you two days to arrive in, in Khartoum on, on, the, on, the, on the ground transportation. And when you arrive there, there's no money for you to, to go and see the doctor. Some people, they went there and they thought they can get some money from somebody in those areas. And then later on, they stay there three months. They're thinking that maybe somebody's going to send the money. And they're waiting from back home. Somebody might sold the car, the, I mean the cow. And you know the cow cannot, cannot cost, cost more money because of the of the uh, uh, of cow is not looking good cow is has some lack of, of of eating nobody buy buy cow or if you if you take your goat into the market nobody buying it now people go and they spend three months there in Khartoum, six months in Khartoum, one year two years then they end up dying there or if they're lucky enough they still come back without treatment this is the area where you get the oil from. You don't want to build a better clinic. You don't want to build a better hospital. So the 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 people who have a, a cro chronic malaria should not go to Sudan. People who have eye problem they cannot go to Su Sudan. People who have a, a TB they cannot go to to Sudan. If you build a better a better hospital in the area, the same thing to people in in Paloch, people in Ram, people in Akoka, people in in other area in 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 Padang community, they still go into North Sudan. So why 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 is that a shame? Maybe the oil company, they have their own eye. They have their own eye when they produce where they produce the oil, they should. They should talk to the to the to the president. President, why are we doing this oil here and we leave the area where the oil is? Because the people who live in the area now, these are the people who are being affected by the by the oil pollution. 
And when we're talking about the oil pollution, you know that, that terminology, what it means, oil pollution. It comes with so many problems. It contaminates the water. It contaminates the soil. It will kill the animal. It will kill human being. It will kill grass. So like most area now in, in, in this oil produced area, you don't see grass used to grow like before. In the morning time, when you wake up in the morning, you smell, you smell, you smell gas. You smell uh, gas, what do you call gas? You smell it in the morning. When you drink the water, you, sm you smell them in the, in the water. Because the, the, the oil company, they, 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 they produce the oil and they leave the, 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 the waste from the oil, they leave it on top of the soil. And you know, when you do it and how you like that, you, you will not put back the, 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 the thing on the ground, you're destroying the, the, the layer, the, the, the soil. You destroy it because in 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 the country who, who who produce the oil, they follow the rule of safety and they follow the rule of uh, of drilling. Sometimes you pump out the water and and then you have to to put the water back. But if you pump out the water and you leave the water, the water will stay between the ground and the top soil. And then when when the the the, the rain the rain come. It's, it's mixed up and then people smell it. When it go on your skin, it will cause you cancer. It will cause you cancer. And that's why you see some example, uh, a lot of evidence. Children were born deformed. Some children, like, like in 20, 2018, one of the baby was born, one leg is shot, and, 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 and one hand. And it's human being. All all his body is is, is created, but one leg one leg is shot. This man, this man alone, this man, a woman give birth with the dead with the dead baby, and and the baby has wounded all over the body. The 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 baby was born dead. After the baby came out, the baby the the the, the baby died already, and then after after one week, the mother died as well. And this is the result of the of the contamination of environment. The oil is it contaminates the environment. When we're talking about about environment, in, in, environment it including so many. It has the, the 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 grass, it has the soil, it has the hair, the hair people breathe. So the hair you breathe, if the hair is contaminated, that hair you breathe in into your, your lung. Then after a few, few years, or if you are going to be pregnant mother, there will be, if, there will be effects. And that's why you see, we are seeing the thing that we never see in our lifetime. You are seeing things that nobody ever seen them in the area. Sometimes you see the bird dying because their the, 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 the wing uh, the 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 water get get in into their wing and that way water is mixed with the oil. You know the the oil is very thick, and so when it get into the the bird the the bird wing, that bird is not able to fly it anymore, because it, the oil is thick. It get into their wing and their wing is not light to 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 help them to fly. So in ruin area we you see a lot of bird dying. You see a lot of small bears dying because they drink that water and the water is contaminated by the oil. The same thing in, 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 in Malakal, in, 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 in Paloch, where the, 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 the oil produced. You see a lot of kids were born through the same thing. And you see people are complaining about eye problem. People eye getting, getting, getting bad so badly. It is because the, the 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 hair the hair that get in in the skin is it, not a it not a, it not a clean hair because it's mixed with the oil. So the question I'm asking you: What will be the future of Ruwen and Padang in general in South Sudan if the government is not is not 
put a strong, a strong regulation to the oil company and to the citizens who are, who are holding those positions. Like we have the Minister of Petroleum. And you see, the minister we have now, it, it was not the first minister. We have so many ministers before, before South Sudan take the responsibility of the oil. And they have not done anything. Before in Paloj, all the, the, the acquired containers were, were storage in Paloj. And citizens were complaining because those containers, the civilian will go and take them and use them in, the, in, the, in their houses. And those containers, they are not supposed to be to be keep open for the civilian to use them. And civilian were not they were not supposed to be allowed to go in the oil facilities because that area is always has some some signs say this is the dangerous areas. And who can teach our public population? It is the leaders. But the leaders we have now in in Padang community who are for them, they are boilers because they, nobody could listen to them. Starting from the top government, nobody nobody care about the safety of the people. So guys, time life is too short. Life is too short, and life it, it should not wait for you. Life will never wait for you. If you think that the time that you for down people, there will be a time for you to to talk with your government. This is the time. This is the time for you to speak with the oil company. This is the time. Because our, our, our people could not die in so many, so many front lines. They're dying for the insecurity issues that the government is supposed to take care of. It. They're dying with the natural, natural disaster with the government is supposed to do it. So what will be the future of, of, of ruin and Padang? The question is yours. The, the, the ideas are yours. If you want to come to discuss, send me a request. So we can discuss. But it seems like I'm, 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 it seems like I'm on the wrong, uh, I'm on the wrong, wrong page. So let me see if I can, if I can move to my, to my studio or do it on my, my own homepage. Something is not right. So let me end it right here. Please share the share the video, and let me log in and come back with the ten topic. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time.